Okay, let's take care of the second part of this tutorial now. So, in there, let's just enter an else statement there. Else, right, else what? Okay, in there, I'm gonna go for else. That'll be loan. If you guys can still recall, loan was the was one of the variables global variable up there that's it so come down loan equals double dot pause and double dot pause double and we want that to be that would be this very text box whatever is entered in there so let's copy that paste that in there right so loan is now in there so if I compile just compile again and run there's nothing in there click then supposing I enter some values then click nothing happened that's it. that is good okay so and well let's just copy this as well let me, let me copy this and just use that as opportunity to take care of the reset button so let the I want to perform the following action perform let's go back right click select event action action perform reset there so semicolon there so that one is taken care of okay now let's go back in here I will now copy this Suppose that enter any value in there, whatever value I enter in here, I would like it to be displayed in here. So there's going to be a lot, some calculation. So this very one itself, I'm going to move it. Let's cut that off, paste it right in here. I'll be using that later on or right underneath. Cut it off right underneath okay I might as well just copy all of this I'm gonna copy that and repeat exactly the same thing for the other one paste that in there I will now change all of this text box yeah this is what I want to change now interest change the interest copy that this is the first one. That's the first one up there, and this is the second one. So we just change this. Paste. Paste this as well, and change this as well. This is meant to be changed to. Okay, let me just copy this. Call it off. That is for that is for the interest. I will then copy this. Just take care of my clear function as well, which is happens to be right below. So that's taken care of now. I'll copy all of these again. For the third text box. This is for the third text box anyway. Let's just cut that off. That's that's the third one here. Yeah. Replace all of this. Now copy this and use it to replace these ones. So this will take care of the first part of the codes 
that's fine and this one should be taken care of well the variables for those ones are interest and month so that will be interest that will be for the second one and the other one is months okay this is months why this one is interest okay so far there's no error that's good okay I'll just maybe compile and run it okay let's enter some value in there and pretend there's no nothing in here click yeah there should be something has to be there so I need to change that to interest rate okay supposing okay that's for the, the other one so that will be interest rate and that will be number of payments supposing I enter something in here and the other one is empty okay that's good but we need to make it specific so this is to do with number of payments okay so copy let me just change that to you must enter number of payments okay then the other one will be you must enter interest rate you must enter interest rate taken care of looking good so far so let's compile and run it again there so interest rate is empty and number of payments is empty as well look at that number of payments is empty supposing we have some values in here so it's only number of payment that is empty let's get rid of this and enter something in here okay so interest rate is empty so it's working as expected let's see the clear button the clear button is not working let's see why check that maybe we should change it to some other action okay let's copy one thing here first oh no this should be s s s and just get rid of everything here yeah all right that should clear it now Yes, get rid of all of this. Okay, hopefully that should clear it now. So let's say uh, compile and run again. Okay, we just enter some values you can see. Yeah, the reset button is now working. That's good. Exit is working too. Now, what is left for us now is to take care of the calculations. The first part of it all of the calculation in here this one the loan the money goes in there and interest whatever you enter goes inside the interest and whatever you enter in here the amount of payment goes in here okay now we now need final calculation let's get let's see there was okay payments so that will be payment payment equals loan multiplied by interest I think is in capital letter or no lowercase multiply that by interest okay and divide that by 100 okay then plus loan that will give us the total payment so far Okay, let's put one bracket here and another one here. Alright. So that will give us 
the interest whatever the interest rate is we find a percentage of the, in of the interest rate and add it to the loan that will give us the total loan so all right that's good the next thing is let's just to test it out let's see the name of this let's get the name of that that just happened to be known as uh, let's just call it j loan loan analysis or, or report report loan report okay i will actually like this to display all of the information here and here so let's go into our code view or coding area and we enter as follows but there's one more thing that is not included yet which will include later on so we now say jloan report dot append the following this will be an just an he heading maybe we should just into that as well Put that here. and this would be the amount amount of the loan interest rate and so on let's give that a try okay now say compile and run all right we enter amount of loan in there and the interest rates maybe that happens to be seven percent and right here we have number of payments okay let's say number of payment if that is 12 so we need to divide that is not ready okay we have 12 that should be seven percent that is the loan rate okay so what we need to now do is to multiply this by all right right here this is where the multiplication meant to take place let's enter bracket in here yeah let's see is that right um i think no let's use this for something else okay right here right there we need payment to appear as the total payment to be made so okay let's move all of this thing this way let's just rearrange it okay that's for that and you are down here and this will be for this so that will be more clearer and you down here then we need the month might as well just get the month here yeah, there plus sign put that here delete this one all right so we now need one let's copy all of this and just paste it in here and now become total payment to be made total payment total loan payment loan payment so that will be payment So that'll be the payment. So let's try that out. Maybe to work out all of this then before we continue with the calculation. So I'll do that now. Now run it. Okay. There. Okay. Let's say we're going for about maybe five thousand, and the rate. Let's say the rate happens to be six percent, and that the number of payments you intend to make let's say you want to go for 24 months and here we should be entering anything there anyway so let's calculate that so total payments that is i believe that is correct because when you say six multiply by this that will give you 30 and you add that to the to that that's correct now to get monthly payment we now need to say 24 divided by this okay so that'll be whatever i see here is divided by this we tell you how much you meant to pay back per month okay so we're dividing this by whatever is in 
here. So let's get the name of this. No, yeah, 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 we do need that. That will be 24 of the month. Okay, the name of this is what? here somewhere dot set okay let's comment it out for now set text all right now we're gonna need another variable let's see declare double let's say all all payment no that's monthly payment so that's a variable for that so the monthly payment we put that right here underneath here monthly payment equals payment divided by month there so that will give us a monthly payment we now need a string variable to to add monthly payment. So the string variable will be pay months. Let's change that to pay months. And pay months is then copy and assign here. And in here we need this. Copy that and place it right in here. Okay, let's enter I'm sorry, okay there. Alright, so that should do it now. Okay. So let's save and compile and run it again. Okay, let's go for maybe whatever in there. And the rates, let's say the rate is nine percent and let's say thirty-two. 32 months or let's make that 36 months so right there that is correct now we now need that's how much you'll be paying per month so we need the amount you pay per month we need it in here that's good so that will be this the end of the second part of this tutorial see you guys in the third part